Hey, what the? Stop that. I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Well, I guess I do need a haircut. And you are doing it correctly, leaving only one cane per vine to balance my crop. This is cover crop. It gives my soil nutrients and deprives me of water, which totally stresses me out. It just takes what it wants. But isn't it beautiful? Look at it just blowing in the breeze. This is bud break. It's pretty much like my coming out party, except this is what... Oh my God, Becky, look at her bud. It is so big. Brown, it's like out there. I mean, grow. Look. I like bud break and I cannot lie. You other buds can't deny. This is flowering, and these are my flowers. As long as there's no wind or rain, every one of these flowers could become a berry. Come on, Mother Nature. Big bucks, no whammies, stop. Look at those little berries. I'm so sad. Whoa, hey, what are you doing there? Those are my clothes. If you're gonna get all frisky, shouldn't you at least take me out to dinner first? Oh, Jesus, look how fast he's going. Just the ripping and the tearing. The ripping and the tearing. Well, I guess I do need to get a little airflow going in here. Don't want to get any mildew on my beautiful clusters. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And I say, it's all right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is Verasian. It's kind of an awkward time for me to talk about. This is where my sugars increase and my acids drop. I don't know what's going on. It's crazy. The vineyard manager says it's the perfectly normal time in my life. I just hope my voice doesn't change or I grow moves or something. Oh, I'm the king of the vines. I'm the vine master. I count on them. Excuse me, vineyard manager. Can I get some sunblock over here? I don't want to turn into George Hamilton before harvest. Alexander Valley gives the best facials in wine country. I get to relax in the mist all night and into the late morning most summer days. It's called the diurnal effect. Whoa, buddy. Hey, what's going on? What? This is a little premature, don't you think? Ah! Look at the aftermath. It's a massacre. Oh, my God. If you want to be the best Cabernet possible, you must drop some unnecessary weight. These are the vineyard dogs. Here they come again. Oh, Lord. No organic fertilizer today, boys, please. I am not a fire hydrant. So check it out. It's a Saturday night in May. Master sommelier Jason Smith is cradling me in his arms in the Bellagio dining room. Great stream big too, you know. Here's the situation, people. It's harvest time. It's October. I'm sitting at about 24 bricks. My tannins are soft and smooth. I am ready for the big dance. This is the vineyard crew. Watch them pick in slow motion. It's pretty badass. Look at all that picking. Here they are picking Chardonnay in the middle of the night. They're crazy. So here they are picking in slow motion again. Oh, they pick backwards too? Oh my God, you can see their breath. It's cold. They really do give a shit. Whoa, watch out, says that man. Over here, pick me, pick me. It's time to get this party started. Oh, fancy meeting you here. What's your sign? I'm a Libra. Ugh, get off of me. I can totally smell your bouquet. All right, guys, this is going to hurt, but it's all for the best. So in conclusion, I'll be spending the next four years of my life here at the winery, getting pumped up, blended, meeting some Merlot, and this little petite Verdot number over there. And when the winemakers are through with me, I'm going to become a beautiful, elegant bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm worth the wait, people. I'll see you in 2015.